In this video, we're going to be taking a look at not one, not two, but three virtual 7.1 surround sound USB gaming headsets at the $130 price point. Not only am I going to be letting you know which one I think is the best out of the three, we're going to go over what the sale prices are for each one of them. we're going to go over today are the Logitech Pro X, the HyperX Alpha S, and the Razer Kraken Ultimate. There's a few key differences in physical attributes amongst these three headsets and I'm going to break it down for you right now. So these are the three headsets. We have the Razer Kraken Ultimate on the left. We have the Logitech Pro X in the middle. And we have the Kingston HyperX Alpha S on the right. All three of these have a leather top band with a logo. All three of these have metal sliders for adjusting for the size of your head. Here's the uh, Kraken Ultimate. Here's the Logitech Pro X. And here's the Kingston HyperX Alpha S. As far as the ear cups are concerned, there's two differences amongst these three headsets. These two headsets both come with cloth ear pads. In fact, here they are. The cloth ear pads for the Kingston HyperX and the cloth ear pads for the Logitech Pro X. These are not a leather-like feel, this is more of like a fabric, so they won't stick to your face. The Razer Kraken Ultimate has leather on the sides, however, the part that actually touches your face is fabric. And this headset does not come with an extra set of ear pads, most likely because of this reason. So as far as what you actually get in addition to the headset, the Logitech Pro stands out amongst the other two because you get additional cables. So you have a, spl a 3.5 millimeter splitter here. And you also have a cable for connecting to a mobile device. The Razer Kraken Ultimate only comes with the headset. That is it, you do not get anything else. And the obvious for the ear cups is that there's the RGB illumination for the Razer Kraken X. The ear cups are open, whereas the Logitech Pro X ear cups are closed. There's more isolation with these ear cups than any of the other two headsets that we're looking at today. With respect to the Kingston HyperX Alpha S, you have the base adjustment sliders here. These actually adjust the amount of base that goes into each ear cup. If we were to go into the cable lengths, the cable lengths do not disconnect from the HyperX and the Kraken X. But if I were to take and do a guess Estimate here the hyper X is considerably longer than the Logitech Pro yeah if you need cable length the hyper X Alpha S is the clear winner as far as volume adjustment this is where the hyper X cloud Alpha S shines amongst the rest that's because this USB adapter can enable and disable 7.1 surround sound. You can adjust the volume up here. You can adjust the volume down here. There's the game icon and the chat icon. The Logitech Pro X only has a volume adjustment wheel. The Razer Kraken Ultimate does not have a USB adapter for adjusting the volume because the volume wheel is on the ear cup itself. This 7.1 surround sound button can only be enabled and disabled with the Razer Synapse software. As far as being able to mute the mic, all three of these can do that. The Razer Kraken Ultimate, that's done by pressing the mic itself, which will make the mic turn red to notify you that the microphone is muted. Both the Logitech Pro X and the Kingston Hyper X both have the ability to mute the mic. The Kingston Hyper X is right here. You push the button, it illuminates to show you that your mic is muted. The Logitech Pro X microphone can be muted by pushing the slider here and you'll see that it is red because the microphone is muted. As far as all three microphones were concerned, I only had one gripe and that was with the Logitech Pro X. Right out of the box, when you plug that headset in and you go to talk into the microphone, I heard myself. So if you'd like to find out what setting I had to disable in order to stop that from happening, go ahead and check out the upper right hand corner of the screen. But what we're going to do now is get into what my voice sounds like through the microphone of each headset. This is the Razer Kraken Ultimate. Check, one, two, check. This is the Razer Kraken Ultimate. This is the HyperX Cloud Alpha S gaming headset. This is the HyperX Cloud Alpha S gaming headset. 
This is the Logitech Pro X gaming headset. This is the Logitech Pro X gaming headset. Even though the HyperX Alpha S isn't my favorite headset out of the three, if you're just looking for a headset that you want to work right out of the box and you don't want to have to configure it, then this headset's for you. The reason I say that is because the virtual 7.1 surround sound USB adapter is handheld. You can not only adjust the game volume, but you can adjust the chat volume as well. Both the Logitech Pro X and the Razer Kraken Ultimate will allow you to adjust the game volume, whether it be on the headset itself or in a handheld virtual 7.1 surround sound USB adapter. However, you cannot adjust the chat volume. You're going to have to minimize the game screen to go into Discord, for example, to make those changes. And that's not necessarily a deal breaker for me because I don't find myself doing it that often. And right out of the box, these headsets are going to take minor adjustments in their respective software that has to be installed on the computer itself. If you'd like to find out the details of these adjustments, there are links in the description to YouTube videos of each headset. Let's go ahead and talk price. All three of these headsets were at one point $130 MSRP. However, the HyperX Alpha S and the Razer Kraken Ultimate I've seen on sale for $99.99. Both the audio and mic quality, in my opinion, are on par with one another. However, if I had to choose one over the other, it would be the HyperX Alpha S because it works right out of the box with no configuration and no software and it integrates really well with Discord. The Logitech Pro X is still at a $130 MSRP and that's for good reason because it's one level up from the other competing headsets in this video. The sound quality is professional and with a little bit of fine tuning, the microphone quality is exceptional. This was the only headset that isolated the sound with its ear cups and the ear cups fully sealed around my ears. So not only is the sound quality and microphone quality better than the other two headsets, so was the comfort. When it comes to bass, there's nothing special going on with these three headsets. Even when you enable a bass boost feature in the third party software, there just isn't a wow factor. But what sets the Logitech Pro X apart from the other two headsets is the treble. Because it's clear, it's precise, and when you enable the virtual 7.1 surround sound, it doesn't feel hollow. When you don't hear any sound, it sounds clear. This is a headset comparison video and is by no means an extensive unboxing and review of each product. If you'd like to see those videos, they will be linked in the description below. And if you found value in this video, go ahead and let me know by dropping a like. If you want to see what I'm up to, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video.